hello everyone today in this video i'm going to install the fresh installation of laravel and then i'm going to set up my project in laravel 9 so i have created this through composer create project laravel slash laravel and i name this courses app because i'm building this for my own website and i want to create my courses app where i will add my courses into it okay so i name this courses app and it pulled the laravel 9 latest version okay and uh, uh, laravel and i have opened this cd uh, slash app and i switch to this directory and then i call this php artisan serve so basically i'm running this here right so my application is now running and laravel version is 9.21 and uh, this uh, wheat is added in 19 uh, 9.19 right so make sure you install it install the version properly okay so now i have also opened this in my vs code so this one contain the v.js v.config.js file so i just open this out so i did not implemented any of the steps uh, steps i'm going to implement this into the real environment so basically this is our courses app right and uh, what's the another this one is a purple admin dashboard i downloaded it from the github repository so you can also download this one and when i extracted this so it's look like this one right so now i'm going to copy the assets and uh, this my blade file so first i'm going to copy this uh, index.html so let's uh, open this into the web browser and then i'm going to copy all of the stuff and then i will extract everything from this one if i not needed it okay so now let's uh, press ctrl plus u or just uh, press uh, uh, right click uh, uh, right click on it and press the uh, view page source and uh, now you need to copy all of the stuff because we want to implement this index dot we want to add this dashboard into our project so let's so select all by pressing ctrl a and then you need to go to your vs code and in the vs code you need to go to the resources directory views and here i'm going to create a layouts directory why i'm going to create the layouts i'm going to create the layouts for creating a basic layout for all pages and uh, then i will reuse all the pages uh, into this resource so basically uh, if i go back to my project uh, our project contain this uh, top bar a sidebar and a footer right so i want to add this into the dashboard basic ui icon and stuff like that so i want to add this into the all one so i don't want to repeat this every time so that's why i'm adding this at uh, one place and then i will recall this again and again so this is the code reuse reusability so now let's go here and in the laravel you need to create the layout directory why i'm creating this layout because i'm following the laravel convention so by default when you install the laravel ui or breeze or something like this uh, which is a starter kit of the laravel so laravel create layouts directory by default and add uh, all of the main layout into this layout directory so here you need to create the layouts directory oops layouts okay save this one and then in the layout i'm going to now i'm going to create and uh, create this for administrator dashboard so you can create the admin.blade.php or you can create the auth dot play dot php so i'm going to create this auth dot play dot php okay so in this blade i'm going to paste everything right so later i will add its styles and uh, javascript file right so if i go here and now it's added and we need to add these files right but uh, for now we don't have these files so we need to first get these file and then i'm going to do this so first uh, let me open the web.php file so i'm going to view this it's not going to work its style is not going to work its js is not going to work so i'm going to work on this to find the to resolve this so by adding the styles so now let's click on this web.php file and here it's opening this welcome blade right so i'm not going to open this out i'm going to go to this uh, layouts directory okay layouts dot uh, what's the name of this auth okay save this one and now it's going to open the 
open not to well complete it's going to open the purple admin okay now let me close them out from me close also this one and uh, yes it's uh, opening this purple but this style is not uh, working right it will be visible within a few seconds okay okay i'm shooting this in the live environment because people will learn a lot from these example if i'm doing some mistakes so you will also learn that uh, what's the mistake and how to resolve these type of mistakes right so how i find the solution and how you can find the solution in your own way you will also learn this out okay the home page and now let's uh, here i'm going to open the why it's throwing the error okay undefined it's basically intelligent right so it's not error it's just uh, my text editor is not to uh, detecting this so uh, view and route to facade okay so we need to add the styles and javascript files so our javascript files exist to uh, and yes our layout is now open here but this layout to uh, this uh, responsiveness and javascript files are not working so now let's go here and, and here there is a acid directory right so i'm going to uh, copy the css and js file right because i want to uh, compile them using wheat js so let's uh, copy them from there and uh, then i'm going to go to my courses app this courses app contain a resources directory and in the resources there is a there is a css and js directory i don't want to add them there because i want to create this a separate file right so here i'm creating this uh, assets okay and uh, let's save this one and in the assets i'm going to add this css and js oops uh, not this like this so let me add an auth directory and in the auth i'm going to add them both okay so let me create here auth directory because if you have in future you have a website to assets you have a user asset so you can instantly uh, differentiate between what are the admin asset and what are the user asset so this is full fledged series where i am talking about the different uh, uh, laravel conventions how you can structure your project in the laravel and how to configure this in the wheat yes okay now these are added right so we are uh, for now we are not take care about the images we are just um, uh, working on this css and js right okay so now let's uh, go here and uh, we don't need to interact with these files right so let's uh, go here we need to just read out style.css which exist in the assets like css and then we need to we don't need this we need this uh, a vendor this material icon and this one right so now let's go to this uh, config file so let me um, copy its path okay now let's go to this v.config file so here before uh, pasting the pasting uh, all of your css and js file we need to uh, change a little bit in the v configuration okay so now let's uh, come to this blog this blog is about uh, how you can install this in the laravel you can pick up anyone because we are not going to install the bootstrap we are just going to install the npm and then update this uh, uh, not update this one we are going to update this bootstrap.js right so now let's uh, go to your uh, project so what is a project so this one is a courses app and open a new git bash here and here you need to run the npm install npm install and let me also check the video size mm, it's little bit going bigger i don't want to bore my students that's why i always uh, shoot the videos around 5 to 7 minute but now i'm planning to record the 7 to 10 minutes because and then i will uh, completely explain that uh, explain one module and then i will cover the next one in the next video okay it's uh, installing the uh, installing the npm and it will be installed after few moments so i'm uh, pausing this video and coming into the next one bye bye